In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this connect the pipes puzzle game, something like this here. So yeah, let's get started. So here I have already set up the tiles for our puzzle as a grid layout on top of which we are going to place our pipes. So if we go to the sprites folder and I've already changed their names and they look pretty awesome which is all thanks to this guy Kenny for his puzzle pack which you can just download for free. And of course I'll drop the link in the description so go ahead and download it that back inside of unity. Now the first thing we need to do is to make our puzzle by placing these individual pieces on the board. So let's start with the start pipe, place it inside the hierarchy and also change the order in layer to 1 and let's place this at the top where you want to start your puzzle from. So I'll just place it somewhere around here and also let's make this a tiny bit bigger. 1.2 will do just fine. Alright, so yeah, this looks good. Okay, so so this is where we will start our puzzle from. And we will be connecting all the other pipes from this end to the end point. And for that, let's drag and drop the end pipe here. Let's repeat the same process. And let's place this somewhere around here. Yep, this looks good. Also let's change the rotation and between these two points we have to create our own puzzle. So let's go ahead and quickly make one following the same process. Alright so yeah this looks good enough. Make sure you keep the pipes in the correct rotation at the start so that we can see how it looks when finished. And now all we need to do is make, make an empty game object here and let's call this pipes. Reset the transform and we will just place all of our pipes inside of this pipes game object except for the start and the end pipe. Alright, now we have to make a script so that we can rotate the pipes when we click on them. And for that, let's select all of our pipes. And let's create a new script. Call it pipe script. Create an ad. And inside of this, we can just get rid of both these methods and we will create an on mouse down function here. So void on mouse down. So now when we click on the pipes, we will change the rotation. So let's type in transform.rotate and put in a new vector 2, 0, 0 for both the x and y and for the z-axis we will type in 90. Alright, and also we need to randomize the rotation at the start. But first let's make a float array for all the possible rotations. Let's call this rotations. And let's give it some default values. So ranging from 0 to 270. So let's type in 90. 180 and 270. So these are the possible rotations our pipes are going to have at the start. So in the start method let's get a random number, random dot range and we'll get a number from 0 to the rotations dot length. And then we will have to set the rotation for our pipe so we'll go ahead and type in transform dot transform.userAngles 
and make sure you don't use the transform dot rotation because it is a quaternion and and we don't want to deal with the quaternions instead let's use the euler angles which is a vector 3 so let's so let's set this to a new vector 3 like we did down here 0 0 4 was x and y and a random position from our rotations array so let's put in random here all right so now when the game starts so now when the game starts our five will have a random rotation between 0 to 270 degree awesome so let's save this and head back inside of unity first we need to select all of our pipes and give them a box collider 2d in order to take touch or mouse click on them all right so now we can just go ahead and try this out and as you can see they start with a completely random rotation every time we hit play and if we were to click on any one of them they will rotate at a 90 degree angle always Awesome, so the first step is now complete and now we can just go ahead and solve the puzzle. But the game doesn't know that. So how do we let the game know that we have finally finished our puzzle? Well for that we need to make some sort of game manager. So let's create an empty game object here. And we will call this the game manager. So we set the transform. And let's make a new c sharp script called game manager let's wait for it to load and open this up inside of visual studio all right so the first thing we need to do is make a public reference for our pipe holder here public game object let's call this pipe holder And now let's make a public game object array for all the pieces of our puzzle. We will call this pipes. And also let's make a private integer to keep track of the total pipe number and default it to zero. Alright now inside the start method we will get the number of total pipes from the pipe holder game object by getting its child count. So pipe holder dot transform dot child count. So this will return an integer value of all the total childs inside inside of this pipe. Alright now we have to iterate through all the childs. So let's make a for loop and we will go from zero to the average length. But first we need to specify the length of our pipes here. So let's create a new array of type game object and set the value to the total pipe number here. Okay so okay so here we will put in pipes.length and here we will assign the pipe game objects from the pipe holder game objects child one by one. So pipe holder dot transform dot get child and let's give an end index value so we'll put an i and of course game object. Awesome so we are getting the childs from the pipe holder and we are arranging them inside the pipe array. Cool. Also let's make this public so we can see it inside the spectrum. Or instead just mark this as a serial field all right so let's save this and head back inside of unity now so here we're gonna drag and drop the pipe holder inside the pipe holder slot and as you can see the area is completely empty but if we go ahead and hit play it gets filled automatically with the pipes from the pipe holder game object as you can see here now we just need to figure out a way to know when our pipes are at the correct rotation in order to finish the game 
and for that we need to open up pipes script and here we will make a public float for the correct rotation of our pipe so let's call this correct rotation and also let's make a private boolean to check if it is correctly placed let's call this is placed and we will default it to false all right so now if now we can all right so now we can check if our pipe's current rotation is the correct rotation so inside of the on mouse down we will check if transform.euler angle of our pipe transform.euler angle dot z we will check if it is equal to the correct rotation and also we will check if is blessed is equal to false and if it is well then we will just say the is blessed is equal to true or else if the is blessed is equal to true so if we are already at the correct rotation and if we are and click on the pipe so we will just say the is blessed is equal to false all right i think this should work but we also need to check this inside of the start method too as we are changing the rotation at the start too so let's just copy and paste this Also, we don't need to check this as we know it will always be false by default. And yeah, let's also get rid of this else if statement here. Alright. Let's save this and head back inside of Unity once again. So now we need to set the correct rotation for all of our puzzle pieces individually. This one here is at the correct rotation, so 0. So is this. And also this curved one. So let's go through all each and every one of them and set the correct rotation. And for the minus 90 we will just type in 217 instead. Yep, so, so there seems to be fine. Also to see if everything is working, we need to go back to our pipe script. And let's go to the boolean up here and mark this as a serialized field so we can check in inside of the inspector. Let's save this, head back inside of Unity. And now we can just go ahead and hit play. Now let's check each and every one of them. So let's see if it works. So the first one here is set to false. And if we click on them, it remains false. But if we rotate it again multiple times, and now it is in the correct place. That's because for this straight piece, there are two possible correct rotations, either zero or 180 degrees but for this curved one here there is only one so we can just go ahead and check each and every piece to see if they work just fine and yeah it looks like they do so now all we need to do is add multiple correct rotations for these straight pieces but as the video is already long enough i have decided to cut this into two parts and hopefully part 2 is out by this time so check it out here. Till then don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.